Hey everybody, what's up, girl? Hey y'all, is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jet, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my Christian mingle and the lands across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the marvelous Chateau, baby. I want to tell y'all this, right? So tonight we just went to, hey, Char hey, hey, baby. Tonight we just went to go see, oh, we just went to go see the Aquaman, baby. When I tell you, I looked over there, I looked over to the left and Miss Mary was over there about to drown in the chair. Baby, Miss Mary was over there in the chair about to drown, baby. Baby, Miss Mary was so moist sitting over there in the chair. She said, ooh. She said, ooh, that fish man fine is the, ooh, that thing. She said, Lord, forgive me, the flesh is, listen, the spirit, the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. She said, the flesh is weak, baby. Baby, listen, Miss Mary, come on. Now, let me tell y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is my review of the Aquaman, baby. I give the Aquaman an 11. I give the Aquaman an 11, baby, because, baby, that Jason, what his name is? Jason Momoa, 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 Ooh. I don't know what his name, but he's Baby, sure. Miss Mary had put on her good hair to go to see. <laughs> she put her good hair on to go. So to go over there to see the fish man, baby. She say, baby, that man was float, was flat, was swimming all through that water. Ooh! Sure. Baby, listen. Y'all don't understand. That man is fine. Sexy. Oh, wait a minute, Mary. Miss Mary, please describe that man. He's this very sexy looking. He take you, yeah, baby. They, they got the right one playing off. Aquaman. Aquaman. When he used to, in the cartoon, he was built, baby. He, Baby. Aquaman, baby. Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. Aquaman, Aquaman, baby. Let me tell y'all something. That I'm thing. I'm still a woman. You still a woman? I'm still a woman. Me too. And that thing was fine as wine. He, he was fine, Miss Mary. That thing was fine. You hear me? Ooh, <laughs> Miss Mary. His eyes, when his eyes changed, Lord have mercy. Baby, Miss Mary said she needed her some suntan lotion, baby. <laughs> she was ready to get her ass out there on that beach. <laughs> You go exaggerate it. This man said she ready to go out there and lay the eye on the beach. Her to push. She said, bring the her son to. The man, I don't like all them tattoos. But the listen, man that's a, look, listen, roll, roll all over me in the tattoo. Roll, roll all over me with them tattoos. Roll me up I in some I, dope. I, I had saw a picture on, on the timeline where some lady was saying something about this man or something. I was saying, who is this? Baby, I forgot what it said. Baby, I took Miss Mary down there to go to go to, to go see the to see that fish man, honey. That man was that man had nothing rose up out that water, child. That, that water was glistening all I over his when body. The, I think when the women go watch the film, they're gonna be looking more at Aquaman. Man, Aquaman was fine. But listen, we not gonna sit up here. We ain't gonna sit up here and act like that the black melter. Now the black melter was fine too in that thing, that bodysuit, that black bodysuit. Ooh, that black melter. Baby, I would have laid down. I could have been a the sandwich. They could have been the bread. I could have been the meat or hell. I could have been the meat, the bread. They could have been the meat. I would have got it between both of them. That black melter and the, and the, um, the Aquaman. Child, I was ready. Listen, I'd have had to put on my wedding wavy hair, baby. <laughs> you see, Miss Mary got on hers. Miss Mary got on her wedding wavy hair, baby. Miss Mary. No wedding wavy. She was ready to go swimming, baby. <laughs> she said, girl, she was ready to lay out there on the beach and somebody break. He was fine. He was. His body is right. Listen, Miss Mary said she'd have came home and fried that man some fish. She'd have cooked this some fish, honey. <laughs> She'd have made it some crab salad. <laughs> yeah, what's up, James? Listen, Miss Mary said she'd have came home, made him some fish, some crab salad, some shrimp rice. She, he would have never went back down there to Atlanta, baby. Never, not now, another time, baby. That thing. You know what I want to see? Listen, now, I like a fine man. I like a fine man, but. 
I got to see his feet. Can somebody please find some pictures of that man's feet? Because I need to see what his feet look like. Because, baby, if his feet toe down, he just, I listen, he, he, he one of them fine niggas that I let put on some of them tube socks and pull them socks all the way up across his, across some, uh, them calves in the back. Mama, what you think about a man with, with ugly feet? I ain't looking, I wasn't looking at his feet. I was looking at his body. Oh, you weren't looking at his feet, Miss Barry? I ain't going to deal with him. All I saw was body. I don't care about what his foot. He ain't my man. I just looked at him in the in the. Movie that he just was built a built man. Miss Mary That's said, all he "Listen, was me and he going about his business." Child, don't let that, don't let this fool you. Miss Mary said she was gonna walk out on water. She was gonna get in her Peter mode <laughs> and walk out on water, honey. About that man, about the fish man. She, listen, she said she was gonna get out there and walk out on water. She was gonna find out what what Peter knew, honey. She was gonna get out there and walk on water. Baby, let that fish man come from up under that water, honey, and, and, and talk to her. Talk to me. He ain't got to talk to me. He just had a nice body. For me, have a nice body. He got a nice body. Girl, listen, when he nice went over there, when he went over there and found that trident, and his body went from uh, with them green pants at the bottom and that gold thing at the top. Ooh. Ooh. I couldn't stop Miss Mary from, listen, I almost fell in the puddle next to me. <laughs> I stood up to go to the bathroom and stepped in the whole puddle. I said, wait a minute, what's going on, Miss Mary? Miss Mary, what's going on? Stepped in the whole puddle next to me. I said, mama, don't do that now. Jesus. Jesus. She said, Miss Mary sitting there telling me, I'm still a woman, y'all. I'm still a woman. I'm still a woman. you saved don't mean you dead, boo. It's just that I don't entertain my flesh no more. I, I, don't, I don't do that no more. The spirit is strong, but the God flesh is, is weak. God is more precious than my my flesh right now. No, mama, don't act like you wouldn't let that man put no suntan lotion on you. You wasn't going to put no suntan. Why would I entertain? Why would I do something to cause me to, to sin? How you going to sin? That? All he was doing. be in touch. All he was going to do is take take some of that suntan lotion. Certain place you can't touch me. All he was going to do is put some of that suntan you lotion on you. <laughs> That's all he was going to do. He was going to take that suntan lotion and rub on them thighs no. out there. Have them thighs out there glistening. No, sweet. Out there on the beach. If, you tr if you're trying to do what's right, you don't you don't allow nothing to tempt your flesh because that's where you get in trouble. Listen, Jason, I don't know. What the name, Jason? Jason, I already had knew you was fine when you was playing in that movie. Uh, the Who is he? Jason, he was playing the Conan the Barbarian. The new, one, even though I don't, I, I haven't seen the new. One. Oh, you ain't seen the new one. Mm -hmm. You ain't really missed nothing. I ain't really like that Conan the Barbarian. Oh, but let talk about that one too. Cause let me tell you something. Ain't no honest what. Ain't no Conan the Barbarian like honest Schwarzenegger. Woo! Oh, wait a minute now. Honest Schwarzenegger was fine. He looked he like lit. Listen, we just watched that the other night. Yeah, we did. He looked like potted deer meat right now. He looked like potted deer meat right now. Like he looked like a can of he looked like a can of he looked like a can of star kiss deer meat. I'm sorry. He listen. He does. What is this? Y'all know honest question. They can look like a can of star kiss deer meat right now, child. So it ain't really hitting on what it was hitting on back then. But that Jason, ooh, that Jason, the Aquaman, Aquafina. Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. Hey, come over here. Swim on up the river. They got the right person playing that. They say he at the River Jordan, baby. <laughs> they, have the right they have the right person uh, playing Listen, the women's out there say he can come get this. <laughs> well, I ain't finna tell you he can come get this. Yeah, I'm getting ready to watch Bird Box in about uh in a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna do a review on it. But listen, if y'all have not watched Aquaman, even though it done made four hundred and eighty three million dollars this weekend, child, go on up there and get y'all go on up there and, and get y'all uh get y'all little coins in and throw that up there and get y'all a little oh, treat. Her dress looked like jellyfish. I just thought about that. Yeah, it was pretty. It was very pretty. The stuff, the way some of the stuff they done, that was very pretty. What movie called Shaka? What movie? Uh, somebody said hot, hot baked bread pudding. Yeah, that's what. 
All the Schwarzenegger look like uh, all the Schwarzenegger do look like hot. What's wrong with him? Charlie old, mama. He old. How old is he now? He look. He probably about one hundred and thirty five years old. He old. Listen, if they, listen, they had Dolph Dolph Lundgren in this movie playing King uh, King something in the movie, honey. And y'all remember Dolph Lundgren used to be fine back in the day. He was like, I must break you. I must break you. Yeah, all, yeah, Aquaman was fine. Right Listen, I be fish for Aquaman. They have to go through to fit them parts, but I be fish for Aquaman. I go out there, go to swim, and I learn how to swim. Well, I Shoot, I learn how to float, honey. Uh, what you say? He old and I'm tired. Yes, child. Dolph Lundgren. Listen, Dolph Lundgren plays Superman. Um, he Man. Uh, with with Frank Lagella, he played He Man in nineteen eighty something. I watched it. I was that was my that was. Who me, mom? You know, listen. Oh I was God. destined to be a star, girl. I watched the sister child. Sister child. I remember that stuff, my God. Mm. That's why when I want to know what movie is what. I just Who was in Game of Thrones? Dolph Lundgren was in Game of Thrones. Who he was? Oh, I can't wait to game. I can't wait to Game of Thrones come back. Oh, when I tell you, y'all gonna hate me, but I am Team Cersei. Even though I know Cersei is gonna lose, I am Team Cersei. Okay. Thank you for taking me to see that because I enjoyed that. Miss Mary, say thank you for taking her to see the Aquaman. That was good. Baby, listen. That was good to me. I cannot wait to the Game of Thrones come back because. Oh, oh, Jason! Yeah, he was. He was Kale 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 Khaleesi's, uh, Khaleesi's husband. Yes, that was him. I guarantee you, all the women ain't gonna be looking at the movie. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Team Thirsty, girl. I'm Team Thirsty. I'm the I'm on the Lannister team, girl. I live for them, baby. All her children had when she when she sat on the Iron Throne. And she let the girls have it, baby. Her big giant musk. I gotta get me a muscular soldier like that. I need a soldier. What is gonna take care of me? He knows what something, something. Know what I mean? If your status ain't hood, I ain't checking for you. Gotta be street if you looking for me, girl. I need me a soldier like Zerks that got that old that thing that came and scooped her up after she had to walk through the hall through the uh. Do, do the walk of shame through the city. Did Aquaman have a beard in the cartoon? I can't remember. Mama, Aquaman was, he had no, he had no beard in the he cartoon. Had no uh -uh. Beard. He, had, he had blood and shower, right? Hey, 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 I'm blood three. Hi, baby. Um, uh, now I am for, I am for the dragon queen. I am for her, but it's just something about that Cersei. Listen, I'm that type of girl. Girl, you may think you done did some dirt to me. I'm going to get you. It may be six weeks, six months, six days, six years, 60 years. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Because, Mama, you ain't watched the Game of Thrones. Oh, my. I don't, I don't care too much for that. Now, mind you, y'all, I'm not going to front. Like, me and Miss Mary have been sitting up here. We, we have been watching um Outlander. Like, you know. And I'm not going to be on here long with y'all because tomorrow is the Queen's Supreme Court live show here in Atlanta, Christmas Eve show. If you have not got your tickets, you can still get your tickets. We will be, we will not be accepting cash at the door because I'm not, I don't want to accept, baby, this is a new, this is a new day. We will not be accepting cash at the door. Work hard, Kayla. We will not be accepting cash at the door. We will be, you will be able to pay at the door with your card, honey. On the on our swipe machine, but baby, listen. Uh, I don't want any cash, no, ma'am. It's Christmas time. You know what the girls like to do at Christmas, honey? They try to run off with your purse. You snatch my pocketbook, baby. Get down the street. You get nothing. You have nothing, nothing, nothing. Yes. Um. Let me see what what it is. Oh, uh, that's right. Hey, 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 you peeping ass. What's up, babe? Uh, you have to watch the last. I'm going to watch The Last Kingdom. That has, oh, my God. You know, I like him. He fine to me, the man that played Captain Kirk. What's his name? 
What's his name, the man that played Captain Kirk in the new Star Trek movie? What's his name? Give me the name of the man. Put his name down there, girl. I can tell you the other movies he played in. He played Captain Kirk. I don't like that new Jane Bond. Mama, you crazy. I love Daniel Craig. Not that, that bright, that one with that blunt. He with the blue eyes. Oh, that, that. Oh, I like, I, like I that like Daniel movie. Craig. Ooh. Like not William Shatner. I'm talking about the new Star Trek. Not William Shatner, no. He wanted them uh, Chris. Chris Pine, that's right. He wanted them Chris. It's, listen, I like that Chris Pine, that Chris Evans. Captain America, woo! It's only a few white men that can lay me down, baby. That rocket is it's crazy. only a few white men that can lay me down, baby, and call me up. Uh, lay me down and call me confetti, okay? The rock Child, but the rock is not white, mom. He Hawaiian is or something. But they listen, they that Chris Pine. And, 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 uh, listen, that Chris Pine. I like him because he got like a dirtyish to him. Like he kind of like dirtyish a little bit. But that Chris Pine, that Chris Evans, baby. Ooh, ooh. What's the other man, Mama? What's the fine white man? You you know you used to like you some fine white men too. Cause I think all. Uh, Wild Wild West. I, don't, I never remember his name. Ooh. He was short, but that was the finest little cute. Ooh. I had a crush on him. Listen, all my black men, all my black men is fine. Let me tell you something. That, 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 uh, the Black Manta in the Aquaman, he came through there with that Black Manta suit on. I was like, pull it out, babe. Pull it out. <laughs> Who said Liam Hemsworth? That is not his name. It's Chris Hemsworth, honey. He could lay me down, too. Paul Walker, he in heaven, girl. Paul Walker, they're laying one of them girls down in heaven right now, child. One of them white I'm angels. About the dad that other man. Which one, mom? No, I'm talking not the daddy, the black boy. He came through there with that black mantle, and then it was something about the way his eyes, he had on that black mantle suit, and his eyes were spaced out over here, like we had an eye over here and an eye over here, girl. I didn't know. Ooh, I was like, ooh, stare at me. Stare at me, daddy. <laughs> he was so cool with his eye, the black man. To eye. What I was over here, the other one, it would be. I was like, stare at me, baby. Stare at me. Look at me, nigga. Look at me. Shit. That man was fine. I don't know which way it was, but I just know that body was right. That body was right, Miss Man. You know that black man was fine. He had no busted and stood up. I said, but I just draw my Yes, Aquaman was fine, mama. You know what I'm saying? I know, listen, when you can handle Aquaman. I got to give me the black mantle. When he came out with that green and gold. Ooh, ooh, Miss Mary, you said you was over there sitting in the chest saying, Do you bout if I stroke you up? <laughs> Do you bout if I stroke you down? <laughs> Up through the night. Making my body tie. Do you bite if I stroke you up? Do you bite if I stroke it out? All through the night. Listen, y'all didn't see me let some. Oh, somebody said Idris Elba. Y'all already know. I just got to see Idris' feet, though. God, Who just. That? You know Idris Elba, that black. Ooh, that. Ooh. I don't know who you talking about. Who you gonna want to see me like that? Ooh. Ooh, that Idris, honey, and he's British too. He's from England. Ooh, honey, you, you listen, y'all talk that English. You talk them English accent that he's from England. What's that man with oh, mama, listen, don't talk to me about no fine man from Australia. Y'all remember y'all? Do y'all remember Jason Stackhouse? Do y'all remember Jason Stackhouse from True Blood with his fine? Ooh, who is that dude that played in? The vampire, the, Emma, the Ooh, vampire imitation of the, the interview with the vampire. Yes. Girl, you talking about Brad Pitt. That's who that is. Ooh, that's who that Girl, is. now listen, Brad Pitt, that's he get old too. He get he closer. He get closer looking like a can of pot of deer meat too, die. He fine. Now Tom Cruise, it's something about that little booty. Tom Cruise was 
Tom Cruise got a, ooh, that's, he got a fatty caddy in the back back there, baby. That booty, ooh. Baby, I squeezed that little booty back there. That Tom Cruise. Listen, Michael B. Jordan, all my black men is fine. All my black men. How did you find out who was that played on uh, Wild Wild West? How do you go look that up to see who, who he was? You don't got Googles? Somebody said Tom Hardy. Who is that? Where's the... Where's your phone? Is my phone by you? Because I always want to know who Ooh. he was. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Eric Norman? Yes. Hey, give me my, my phone by you. I Ooh. think you sitting on my phone. Let me see. You was. Oh, I was sitting on your phone. Don't get so hot. I know, cause this, cause baby, you was talking about Aquaman, so it was there. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, he fine. You had your mind on my phone. Listen, try. Ryan Reynolds, he fine too. He fine. His little, I like his little. His, he got a little. But that other Chris, what's the other one name? Chris from uh, he played in the Passengers, and he played in the Guardians of the Galaxy. What's the one played the Guardians of the Galaxy with his fine? He thick too. He real thick. He played in the Jurassic Park. He real thick. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, he definitely could get it twice. But that thick one. What's that thick one name that play in the, not David Beckham, the thick one. The thick man that play in the, um, oh, mama, they said Robert Conrad. That's who played Wild Wild No, Wild. Chris Evans is the one that played, Chris Pratt. Woo! Oh, yes, this is his name, Robert. That, that looks like him. Baby, let me tell you something. Chris Pratt, so thick. Oh, that's how he look now? Chris Pratt, so thick. Ooh. Chris Pratt. Listen, y'all. Chris Pratt, so thick. I just want to get me a piece of... I just want to get me a piece of... Uh, 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 a piece of toast. Ooh, that thing thick. He, he borderline fat, but he thick. Baby, when I tell you, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, this the one who used to play Wild Wild West. Mama, you like that man? Ooh, he used to be so funny. What's up, Kels? What's up, child? I got to get you on the court show. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is the one that played Thor. Oh, my God. Yes, Chris Evans is Captain America. Chris Pratt is the Goddess of the Galaxy. Um, Chris Pine is the Captain Kirk. Um, you say John Cena? Yeah, he feel... Yeah, Chris Hillsworth played Thor. He fine, but let me tell you something. Will you coming out here, Kels? Let me tell y'all something. Chris Pratt, so thick. He thick like Channing, Channing Tatum. Channing, Channing Tatum is so thick now. Like, he one of them kind of thick, like that Marky Mark thick. Like, Marky Mark done got thick like a woman. Like, you know how when they be lifting all them weights and then them muscles start getting real, they be getting flabby. You coming in March, I'm going to be in Chicago in March. Okay, we'll t I'm, I'm going to send you my number so we can gossip about it. Um, What I'm going to say, uh, yeah, all the Christmas, Kayla, all the Christmas, baby. I put some, man, listen, I bust them down. I bust him down. Channing Tatum is so thick. That little white booty he got is so... He be walking through the movie. But Marky Mark had got really thick, like, kind of like a... But it was something that turned me off. Y'all gonna laugh. When he played in Ted and he farted, I was like, uh-uh. I ain't even want him no more because he had farted. <laughs> he had just farted, girl. Just farted. And I was like, I bet you that room smell like, I bet you he farted and that shit smell like three three rotten bologna sandwiches, girl. <laughs> I it, my, I just, it turned me off because I was so infatuated with how thick his booty is, how they thick, like got all that thickness on him. And then he just farted on Ted. And I was like, oh, no, I ain't even want him no more. And I use it. It's it's certain things that men could do that'll just turn me off. Like if I see they toes and they got now, now I ain't gonna front. Now if I see a man and he find and he got one of his toes black, like he got a black big toe, like a black big toe, I may let it slide. But if he got a black five toes, 
of all his toes black. And he got that crust that be on the back of the feet. Or it look like somebody done chew, chew down on their feet. Like that soccer player from Jamaica. I mean, that, that uh, the track man, the track star from Jamaica. And you, his feet look like he had been running through, um, like he had been walking through the sands of time, honey, since he was born. Them feet so toe up, girl. And look like he had three dogs down there chewing on them. Mm -mm. I was like, oh, no, I don't care how fast you is, boo. No. Um... Oh, the man that played Christian Gray, he was fine too, but he was skinny. You know, but that man, yeah, yeah what's that man name from Jamaica, the one that run the track, child? The Jamaican man, honey, he run, his feet look a fool. You can Google them feet, baby. One day he had, he had I had put them on, I, I had put his feet on the docket, baby. He had, he had crossed his leg. What the hell is this, mama, you was watching? I ain't watching nothing. They done took us over here to Scotland. Yeah, that's his name, Usain Bolt. Ooh, listen, you got to Google his feet. Let me tell you something, I almost fell out. I put them feet on that on the docket, baby. Them feet was a fool. Baby, that was the worst. Them, the, them feet, I ain't never seen nothing like that. Now, he got long money. He got long money, but I, he need to get somebody to get down there with one of them hacksaws and get some of that stuff off of that feet, baby. Cause them feet is a fool. They couldn't give me no money in the world. I ain't gonna say all they couldn't give me no money in the world to suck them feet. I know some of y'all broke holes to be down there sucking them feet to sleep, but baby, not the dog. Oh. George Clooney used to be fine to me. He still fine like when I would watch his old movies. But girl, uh George Clooney, he he close he getting near to being a can of potted deer meat too, girl. It's something about the white men when they get real old, they start looking like looking like a can of potted deer meat. Girl, you know what it gives that millennia deer meat. Um, who did? Robert Carl. Mama, that man probably was two hundred years old, girl. Uh, Dave Franco and James Franco. I like James Franco though. I ain't gonna even front. I like James Franco. It's something about James Franco that make me. I don't know what it is. It's something about James Franco that made me want to just fonder him. It's something about him. He died at the age of 86. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kevin Costner, dear me. Yeah, but it's just something about Clint Eastwood, girl, dear meat. <laughs> dear meat, honey. But it's something about him. I don't know what it is about James Franco. I don't know. He so he's got a sex appeal to me. For like, he like underage girls. Oh, oh, Robert De Niro, dear me. Oh, Matt Damon. Oh, listen, Matt Damon had played in that movie uh, Liberace from when HBO had redid that movie when he played Liberace boyfriend. Baby, when he got up out that pool with them little white, them little white speedo panties on, baby, I was standing up like this Fiji water over here, just standing up, bro. I was standing up, honey. Yeah, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, let me tell you the movie that Jake Gyllenhaal played in. Right, he played in the movie called Life. And I don't know if y'all remember me doing a review on that movie called Life. This is my thing right here. I love all people. I do. But y'all explorers, y'all space explorers and stuff like that, don't go all up there in space bringing none of that stuff back here. And we people that ain't had nothing to do with that got, got to deal with that stuff. They done went all up there in space bringing home this thing, girl. And not everybody got to deal with this stuff on Earth. What in the hell is y'all? Listen. Y'all peoples can't get along with your next door neighbor. What is you trying to go out in space and find out what's going on in space? You can't even get along with your next door neighbor. I say this all the time. You out here trying to explore what's going on in the universe, girl, and you don't even you can't even be friends to the people that's house in the backyard. Y'all got the same live on the same street, but you want to go out there in the in the space 
and, and be man and, and be and meet the peoples out there in space. For what? Get this stuff together here on Earth before you start getting on somebody's rocket ship, going out there trying to be their friend. We can't even get along. We trying to put a wall up uh, to, to Mexico. You mean to tell me you gonna put a wall up to Mexico, but you gonna go? You spending billions of dollars to go out in space to find some out there in space, girl? You gonna spend billions of dollars to go out there in space, and you can't even get along with the people you pay your taxes with in your neighborhood, girl? Get out of here! And anybody out there that don't feel that way, use the fool. Every time I watch them science fiction movies, I'm like, what the hell y'all going out there in space for? What y'all going all up there in the space bringing that stuff back down here? What you going back I bringing that stuff back down here? That we got to deal with that. You hoes leaving bad comments on the people's Instagram pictures and stuff like that, girl. And want to go out here and find out the alien nation. Want to go up here and be the alien friend. You ready to get on the spaceship. You ready to get on the spaceship to leave Earth to go over here. You can't even get along with the people in your next door. Girl. Girl. I just find it really crazy. It just baffles me. Y'all over here putting $11 million together, putting a wall up to, to Mexico, but you got you spending billions of dollars on space, and you trying to block out your neighbor. All these homeless people out here on the ground need something to eat, and you taking your behind out there to get ate on by some space creature. Get, this, get your own. This, the Bible says sweep around your own front door first. Get your, house, get your own house in order before you be trying to get on some spaceship, some PT cruiser, driving out to, through the galaxy to the Milky Way, and being somebody friend out in space. How many of y'all feel me on that? Y'all feel me? You feel me on that? Mama, do you feel me on that? I just be talking about those space movies where they be going all out there in the planet. Be going all out there in the interplanetary system and stuff like that and can't even get the stuff right here at the house. True. This how I feel when these people be over there, when the United States be over there in somebody else's country, police or what's going on in somebody else's country, and you ain't even got these people off the ground here, and, and you over there trying to worry about them people's fighting over there, and you ain't even took care of these people over here in, the, in America. All these hungry people out here. I, mean, I go to LA. It's so many. It's so many homeless people laying and sleeping all up under the bridge. But y'all over there in Afghanistan, worrying about what them people doing over there in Afghanistan, girl. And we got all these people. You got girl. You got all these people over here hungry. You over there fighting for other people. And you ain't even took care of your own people over here. Get your own land together. We over here arguing about the bathroom and, 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 and got troops over there losing their lives, blowing up buildings and stuff like that. People ain't got legs, toes, and ears no more. And you over there in another country trying to figure out, trying to, trying to police what them people got going on over there. You can't even have your own stuff together. Girl, please. That's like a hoe giving a giving a woman another woman advice and her household act together, t telling her what to do with her husband when her husband out there with everybody else. And you can't even get a you only girl. Child, I'm running for president in 2020. 2020, I'm running for the president of the United States. If that, if that <laughs> You see, somebody gonna vote for me in 2020. I'm right. I'm running for president of the United States. I clean all that stuff up, Miss Mary. And we ain't spending there another billion dollar nowhere in space because we ain't even got this shit together in America. We ain't spending a billion dollars nowhere else. 
Do we, we, we bringing them troops home from over there? Come from around there. What you over there fighting in them people yard, but in your yard, you, in this, in this, in this, what, your, what is you over there fighting for? What's up, Jamaica King? You over there fighting in them people yard and your whole place unprotected over here. Girl, please. They want to do a whole government shutdown because of the wall because this man ain't getting his way with the wall. And we sitting over here like, well, we, what is we can do? Vote him out. Vote him out. Pull that nigga out of there. None of that'll be going on. You hear me? I'm I'm cutting I'm cutting the space fund, cutting it out. I'm, that'll be my first thing, and I'll cut out the damn net. Cut the space fund out. We spill it. How many trillions we spend it over there? Cut that shit out. Healthcare needs to be free, and y'all the people that got the cure for AIDS and cancer. I'm running all y'all pharmaceutical y'all all y'all pharmaceutical companies out of business. Y'all sitting over there with the cure for all these diseases and stuff like that, getting rich. I'm running y'all out the business. I'm closing it down. All of it. All them, all the girls on Section Eight. Y'all getting up off them Section Eight. Y'all turning them wick things in, and we just giving y'all jobs. Everybody can get a job. You get a job. You get a job. You get a job. You get a job. All them homeless people. I'm gonna put. Clean them homeless people up, wash them homeless people, and have them build their own house. I'm gonna supply them with the wood, the trees, all to supply their own to build their own house, build their home, build it. I'm letting them prisoners out of jail, the ones that don't need to be in there. Let them prisoners out of jail, honey. And them ones that need to be in there. When we go to war, I'm putting y'all hoes on the front line. And I'm putting uh, 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 them, them tags around your neck so if you run, your head explodes. For y'all rapists, y'all murderers, y'all ones that just convicted for I'm putting y'all on the front line in war. You can be the first to go. Goodbye. I'm closing all that stuff now. Y'all get a job. Get a job. I ain't got no business paying. And for that healthcare is a fool. That healthcare stuff is a fool. I ain't got no business paying five hundred dollars a month for no healthcare, girl. And it, girl, people sick heal people. Well, food stamps, I can't. We got to cut them down. We got to cut them food stamps down. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got to get up. Because I don't. I pay taxes. I'm sorry. I pay taxes. Y'all got to get up. Y'all got to get up. Y'all can't be laying around having nine baby daddies and they're serving dope and stuff like that. Y'all got to get up and hustle. And y'all ain't got to work at Wendy's and stuff. Y'all And y'all can't. Listen, and none of y'all hosts can't work at them call centers. I ain't letting y'all work there. Listen, I'm going to be interviewing y'all for them call centers. Because I'm sick of y'all with them attitudes. Hello. Yes. This is Sasha. Uh-huh. Well, listen. Any of y'all fast food worker girl come to work with, I'm going to get deep in. Y'all come to work with them attitudes, you're losing your job. You're fine. You're fine, old. What else I do? All that foreign policy? Uh-uh. All that stuff that's going on in them other countries, we ain't even having that. Ain't none of that going on. Let me understand. Let me find out. Ain't none of that going on in that, in that uh, 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 foreign policy. None of it. Y'all niggas over there arguing with each other, that's y'all house. Get y'all house in order before we step over there. Because we ain't got our eyes together. We can't tell you nothing. China, we can't tell you nothing. Afghanistan, Arabia, United Emirates, we can't tell y'all niggas nothing because we ain't got our shit together. We don't know nothing. We ain't said nothing. We got of that. Pull our truth from, come from around there. 
Come from around there. Y'all feel me on that? That space program, cut that shit off. We ain't going out there. We ain't going to space. Until we get this stuff together with our neighbor next door, we ain't going out there in space. We ain't going out there starting no inter intergalactical war. We ain't even got them, them kind of guns. We ain't got that. Come home. Bring them starships from down there. For y'all been done brought back one of them, one of them space demons and, 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 and messed us all up. Right? Come from down there. You don't need to walk on the moon. You don't need to walk on the moon. Come from down here. Walk in your neighborhood. Clean your neighborhood up. We ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Clean your neighborhood up, niece. Come from out of space. Come from out of space, girl. That's right. All them pharmaceutical companies, they got to go. They got to go. Y'all sitting right here with the cure for AIDS. You sitting right here with the cure for, for with the cure for all this stuff. You mean to tell me? Let me tell y'all something. If you really sit back and you think about it. Think about it. Think long and hard about it, okay? You mean to tell me, okay, you could put a man on the moon or you could put, you could travel from Earth out to Mars and, and ride a car around Mars, okay? Think about it. Ride a car all around the surface of Mars, getting pictures and things, okay? But you can't get no cure for, for AIDS. You can't get no AIDS cure. You can't get no cancer cure. You can't cure cancer. You can't do that. Uh-uh. Cut all that shit off. Cut it off, y'all. Y'all got your minds and to do too many different places. You're all out of space. You need to be home. You need to be home. Mama, what that is? Mama, don't be holding that phone going to sleep over there. What you say? Listen, all my elderly people and handicapped people, you get VIP treatment. VIP. We don't know how long you got here on the earth. So why is, why is, your, why is your living hard? Why do they make the living, why do they make, the, make it hard for those people to live? Why? Why? How you gonna give somebody forty dollars or fifty dollars worth of food stamp that can't work? How? How? How you got these people over here? This assisted living, honey, and these people is is up here. Mm -mm. Baby, I'm going to clean it. Listen, don't, they better not let me have it. Baby, I'm coming and cleaning all that up. I'm flying to the people. I'm going to the people. I'm the people's president. The people's president. The people's. The people's. And all that stuff that's going on on Facebook, how you get blocked on Facebook, because somebody report, I'm going through, I'm tearing Mark Zuckerberg them up. If somebody reports something on Facebook, they need to be blocked. You don't need to see my page. You don't need to see it. Don't make them hoes anonymous. I want to know who it is because it could be my worst enemy up there just reporting. Because, and, and, my worst enemy reporting. So I need to see who it is. Block them. You put in too many reports on somebody's page. You put too many reports in on somebody's page on anything. Guess what? Your account is disabled. Your account is disabled. We're disabling your account. Because that means you sit in there reporting people's stuff, you know, being shady. Your account is disabled, niece. It's gone. Deactivated indefinitely. Mark Zuckerberg going to have to let me, I'm, on, I'm walking into his office as the president. Let me show, we need a dispute button. We need a dispute. I need to be able to dispute them th that you over here reporting my shit. I need to be, I need to sit down. I need to sit down review.
You do too many reports, your account is deactivated indefinitely. That'll stop a lot of them hoes doing that, doing that stupid, doing that uh 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 stupid reporting people stuff. Y'all sit there and let people report, 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 report. Girl, you know it's haters. People know haters when they see it. Suspended indefinitely. I don't go. Listen, if I don't like something on somebody's page, I don't go on it. And what I don't get, what I don't get is on my page, I have made it where you got to follow me in order to make a comment. Okay, why are you following me to report me or why are you following me to say a negative comment? It should be when you when when I report your negative comment, your account is deactivated indefinitely. This ain't no I hate when they say, oh, well, this is our, 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 our community standards. That ain't no community standards, girl. That ain't no community standard because the community don't believe in all that. Like, everybody ain't with that. Because somebody get mad at something you post, girl, all of a sudden now you got to be suspended because they done reported your shit three times. And you looking at it like, girl, I ain't even say nothing. Okay. President of the United States coming through and handling all that. What else I get rid of? All them phone charges from AT&T, all those uh, mystery charges from AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, all y'all with this. And I'm getting rid, and I would get rid of prorating. Don't prorate my bill, bitch. I ain't lived there yet. I ain't pro, don't prorate my bill. Don't do that. If I ain't used it yet, don't charge me. If I ain't used it yet, don't charge me. Don't be sending me no prorated bill. If we in February, charge me for February. If we in March, charge me for March. Don't charge my phone bill in September. For October, I ain't even got there yet. All them surcharges, extra fees. You told me my bill was going to be $139 a month. Why my bill is $637? Well, $500 worth of extra fees came from. What else got to go? Comcast. Y'all internet ain't that fast, girl. It ain't that fast. Oh, and anybody that break in anybody's house, you get the death penalty. I ain't even spared you host. If any one of you bitches break in somebody's house, you get the death penalty. People be out here working and slaving, working hard, honey. People be about to lose their whole sanity going to work every day. And you think you can just break in somebody's house and steal their shit? Death penalty. Death penalty, bitch. Death. I'm going to tie you up and have somebody break in and steal your, your, your arteries. I'm going to have somebody tie you up outside in front of everybody and have them break in, break in from you from the back. Steal your ass crack. Boom. That's how I feel. That's why I'm at with. I'm just thinking. Death penalty. You break in my house, you're dead. You break in the neighbor's house, you're dead. That'll stop all y'all with y'all, 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 some of y'all saved folks with them kids that y'all, everybody else's kids going to hell because they gay, but you ain't talking about your kids over there breaking in, breaking in your neighbor's house and bringing that hot shit over to you, your house and you keeping it in your basement or your garage and they selling it. Yes, that'll cut some of y'all out, some of that foolishness out. You break in the grocery store, you better be y'all better be really starving. I got to go down there and see if you're really starving. But you're breaking there stealing money, cash, your de death penalty. Death penalty. Death penalty. Death by robbery, that's right. 
Break in on that ass. Bust that ass open. What else need to go? What else? What else? If you a billionaire, a billionaire or a multimillionaire, and you live in a neighborhood or you from a neighborhood, it is mandatory that you take a portion of your earnings, mandatory, and get the homeless off of the street. It's mandatory. If I see you out there with a mother freaking gold chain on, a, a $100,000 gold chain, a $200,000 gold chain on, and people just out here hungry, starving, starving, cold, freezing, cheering, babies, at, nigga. It is mandatory that a portion of your billion dollars, because you ain't even going to see it, that a portion of your billions of dollars, girl, Mm. Yes, I did say billionaires. I did. That's right. Tax the rich. The rich rich. I ain't talking about the Instagram rich. I'm talking about the rich rich. <laughs> the rich rich ones, honey. Child, I don't know who that is, Mad Funk Official. They crazy. Uh-huh. Did somebody say everybody in charge of the Flint water crisis got to go up under the jail? Correct. Correct. And if you racist, if you hating somebody for the color of their skin, if you're hating someone for the color of their skin or for their sexuality, sexuality or their sexual orientation, I am condemning y'all hoes to live that life. For 10 full years. And I'm condemning y'all to be treated the exact way that you treat people. Because of something that they don't have no control over. I'm condemning you to be treated the exact same way that you treat people that don't have any control over that. You're condemned. We ain't got no control over no color. We ain't got no control over no sex, no gender. I don't give a damn what nobody say. None. I don't care what you say. You're condemned. you condemned to live that life. You are condemned not only to live that life, but you are condemned to be treated the exact same way that you, you treat those people. You are condemned to be, if you don't want them people to have no job, you can't have no job. You don't want them people to come into no building to have nowhere to live or to sleep or to eat, you can't have nowhere to eat or sleep. Then you'll know how I motherfucking feel. You're condemned to that for 10 years. 10. Baby, I'm coming through with my policies. All of it. All my policies. We're not body shaming no more. We ain't fat shaming. We ain't sex shaming. If you was a slut, honey, that's just what you was. We ain't, cause we ain't doing that. Oh, yes, the IRS, you got to go, niece. IRS, you got to go. It was nice knowing your daughter, but your credit, your beacon scores don't matter no more. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. I feel like that's the shit that make us like a socialist, a socialist economy, honey. Because it's still, it's still putting it in a class system like, well, girl, if you ain't got no... 800 credit score you can't get. IRS, you're gone, sis. <laughs> yes, right. That's right, Hope. That's right. I'm telling you, that's what I would do. That would be my first thing. If you discriminate against somebody because of the color of their skin, because of their sexual orientation, because of their gender identity, you, if you you are condemned to walk in their shoes for 10 years. So the same measure that you gave those people needs to be measured unto you five times. Five. If you were one of those people that worked in the bank and you didn't give a bitch a loan because they were black. 
You are to be put out of your home. You are to be evicted. You and your family, your children. I'm sorry, kids. You'll learn not to be that way. You need to be put out of your home. If you've treated a trans person or a gay person differently because they are they are they they love somebody that you they fucking somebody that you ain't fucking or they sleep in the bed with somebody that you ain't sleeping in the bed with, bitch, you're condemned. You can no longer you bitch, bitch, you can't even rent a hotel room. You you can't do it. If you treat it some type of way. Now, if you go through your life and you feel some kind of way, but you don't treat people. Now, I'm, this is what I, I want to say, and then I'm gone. If you go through life and you can feel however you want to feel in your heart, or you can, whatever your teachers was as a child growing up, you can have that. As long as you don't exercise, uh, 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 discrimination as long as you don't exercise your authority to deny somebody a chance at living a decent life as long as you don't now you could be all in your mind you could say you know what i was raised that two men ain't supposed to be together or i was raised that ain't no that a man is a man and a woman's woman you can't say i was raised that way but as long as you don't exercise Things like saying, you know what, just because of that, because that way, I'm not going to let them in here. I'm not going to let them eat. I'm not going to let them get no house. I'm not going to let them have no job. I'm not going to let them have no health care. I'm not going to let them, because I, I just feel that's not your, that's not your right. You don't have that right. You don't have that right, bitch. You don't have that right. You don't have that right. Now, you can feel however you feel, because my mama raised me a certain way. You don't have that right to exercise that type of situation because you feel like it's wrong or you feel like, well, my mama taught me that because, bitch, some mamas, some people mama taught them to put, not to put neck bones or not to use, not to use smoked meat in their greens. Some people mama taught them not to do that. Bitch, that don't mean that they, people ain't supposed to cook no greens. You don't have that right. You don't have that authority to deny somebody something because of what you feel. Because you feel of what you was taught. Bitch. Girl, I done sat up here and uh, talked with y'all for a whole fucking hour, girl. Miss Mary done went to sleep over there, honey. I'm finna let, pull this wig off. Listen, get y'all tickets. Get y'all tickets for the show tomorrow. And um, y'all come on out. And if you in Atlanta, get them tickets. Go on up there and get in the, in the, in the what you call it, session. Get them tickets. Click on that thing. Get them tickets, girl. And come on out, honey. Um, no, bitch, let's ditch coming back in the new year. Child, me and David is tired, honey. You know, we've been talking. We was talking this morning. Um, yeah. Miss Mary is not out over there. Not out. Yes. And I'm not telling nobody, hold on. No, I'm not going to be live. No, I'm not going to be live. We do, we're do. just doing it. I'm not telling nobody to abandon what they were taught, to abandon the teachings. I'm just saying, don't exercise. If you're in a position of power, do not exercise your right to, to, to punish somebody for what you believe. Don't do that. If they need to eat, if they need to eat, let them people eat. Let them eat. Okay, I love y'all. Y'all, it's gonna be on Patreon, so that's what I'm putting the show on Patreon. But it's gonna, so if y'all get y'all tickets, honey, you know, for the show and Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. I love you, and I'll talk with y'all in a little while. The tickets is in the in the in my um. What is that shit up there? Bio. Click on the link in the bio. Get your tickets. All right, y'all.